I love new gadgets. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Greg here with RC Driver and as you can see, got the Tekken hot wire here. We got this a little while back and I've actually been using it, but I'm gonna show you guys how easy this tool is to use with your Tekken system. It's a pretty neat thing to have. No more hooking it up to a laptop. You could just use your phone to program your speed controller. Let's take it over the bench. I'll give you an inside look at the Tekken hot wire. Before I show you the hot wire in use, I quickly just wanna go over what comes in this box here. So as you can see, it comes with the hot wire itself. Of course, here's the hot wire 3.0. And all you really need is this little lead right here to go into your Tekken Speed Controller. It's got a bind button here and a little LED display, and then it's got a USB port so you could hook it up to your PC with the included cable in case you need to do a, an update or a uh, or if you need to reset the Speed Controller. And then of course there's a little instruction sheet here and the Tekken decals. What you're also going to need to do is download the Hotwire app onto your Android or iOS device. I've got it here on my iPhone. It's really easy to find in the App Store. And as you can see, once you got the app fired up, it gives you a lot of information. There's a little bit more in this window over here. And these are the apply settings and bind and connect buttons. We'll go over that in a second. This app seems really easy to navigate so far. This little red dot up here means the Bluetooth isn't connected yet. You'll see that in a second, get connected. And then there's some other features down at the bottom as well. It allows you to change the brake, throttle, and timing. But here in the main screen is the setup portion. So just to go over the screens, this is the setup screen. We've got voltage, BEC, motor direction, motor type 1S mode, and then we've got a fan feature here. And then the next screen, we have the braking screen, you adjust the drag brake, brake minimum, active brake, and push control. On the throttle side, we've got current limit, throttle minimum neutral with reverse speed. Finally, in timing, you could change the timing profiles. So all you really need to do to hook up the hot wire 3.0 is find the little port. And this is where you plug in that wire. If you look really close, it gives you an indication of how the wires go. There is a B, R, and W. So you just line up the B with the black and obviously the white is on the other side and this gets plugged in. So the one thing I did notice is that plug port is very tight and it was actually kind of hard to get that plug in. I did use an X-Acto knife to chamfer the edge just a little bit and then it popped right in. So no big deal there. Now we could turn everything on. I already have my radio system on. Now I'm going to turn on the speed controller. Wait for it to arm. And now I could bind the app to it. So what I'm going to do is go over into the menu. Hit bind. Bind. It gives you a little instruction sheet here. Power on the speed controller, did that, press and hold the hot wire button, there we go. We've got a blue light in there, start bind, retry. I already actually had this bound before I hit the cancel button, just to show you guys the screen before, and it looks like everything's connected. Yep, we have the blue light here, we have the blue light on the hot wire, that means we're all set up. Now we could go in here and start to change whatever we need to change. Down here into setup, if I wanted to, I could go in, I could change the BEC voltage. Just leave it at six volts for now. Change the cell count. We have 2S, 3S. We're done with that. Actually in there, is, oh, let me go back. In there we could also change the cutoff per cell. And then again, with the motor direction, this comes in useful for a lot of different vehicles. You could change the motor direction, change the motor type. There's all the different variations. And of course the fan. And then again, we can just go in there and change all our brakes if we want to. I might start messing around with some stuff in here for my trail truck, but this offers a lot of tuning here. So this is really useful to have. I've actually used this once already out in the field. Uh, I had to change my cutoff and it worked out really well just having to plug this in versus going back to my laptop changing everything. So it was really handy. So once you make your changes, you go in here, you hit the apply button and it will apply all the changes to the speed controller. And then you hit the drive button that finalizes everything. Then you go unplug the hot wire and you're ready to drive. So hooking up your Tekken speed controller to program it is really easy now with the hot wire 3.0 thanks to the Bluetooth. Uh, I know Tekken went through a lot to get the Bluetooth technology hooked up in this little system here. Uh, I was talking to them about it. It's pretty interesting what they had to go through. So it's really neat to go and use it after hearing the stories behind it. Uh, but now, all I need is my cell phone or my laptop with Bluetooth and I could go and tune my speed controller and I don't have to hook wires up to it directly unless I'm doing something uh, with that USB port. But again, out in the field, I'll be able to tune it without a problem. I'll even be able to upload Razer profiles if I want to in some of my other Tekken equipped cars 
or even here in this trail track, I could go and find another user's profile, download it right into the speed controller, try it right there on the trails. Pretty neat piece to have if you have a Gen 2 or newer speed controller with the easy data port, plugs right in. Like I said, if you're a Tekken fan, you gotta have it. All right, everybody, thanks for checking out that quick overview of the Hotwire 3.0. Haven't done so yet? Click that subscribe button, please. Tap on the notifications bell and throw the video a like.